Hello everybody, my name is Ace Face. In this video, we're in our wormhole, the Corporation Wormhole, and we're going to be doing a sort of multitask prospect here. So the prospect, for you guys who do not know, is a mining ship, a frigate, that is covert ops capable. So it is pretty optimal for wormhole life because you can get around pretty sneakily and not have to worry as much at getting tracked down. It's a little bit easier to get around safely. Doesn't mean it's safe, but it's a little bit easier than maybe a non cloakable ship. So this ship is a mining ship. It focuses a lot on mining, but you know what I was thinking? We can try make it sort of like a jackknife prospect or like a uh, do it all kind of prospect. So you can see we've got almost everything here required. Mobile depot, you know, we've got lots of things here. So I was thinking we could do like this, put this in here. We've got the corporate launchers and then we put some relic and data analyzers. So then we can just go around and look for whatever we need to look for and then you know just find uh, the relic and data sites and the gas sites whatever we need it's not optimal you know it's, you see we've got a lot less tank here i'll just give it a go see what we can find here before we go i just need to make sure we put our gas back here and then we can undock it would be nice to set up some pi actually pi would be very good do we have how many plants do we have here we have lots of plants so it would be a very optimal place to set up some PIs. That's probably something we should do sometime. Let's see what kind of wormholes we've got adjacent here. I've got a second screen that I can see the different types of wormholes we've got nearby. We can start scanning to begin with. We've got oh, two wormholes there. Let's stop the ship so we don't have to glide away. And spread out the probes. Okay, so two wormholes here. We have got one static, there's the C5, but these other ones could be random. It'd be nice to find the C72 gas ores, those are the ore gas that is very expensive. If we got, I think they're found in a C6, or I think the C5 as well. But we can potentially find everything here. We've got relic and data site, and then we can also use a gas cloud scoop. <laughs> unstable wormhole okay let's see what have we got here we can clock up there we go clock up a little bit just need to get a bit further away from this citadel as far as i can tell here we've just got a ton of uh, c5s all over the place let's see what this one is let's see what is in here null sec <laughs> spicy i just want to just double check actually before we go in we've got a format of bookmarking here Okay, so we'll bookmark this for our corporation. Let's see here. Put this in wormholes and we'll take it here to four. And then QKI null. And we have to add to two days. There we go. Good. Okay. So we've done a successful bookmarking, it seems. I hope for, hope it's right. <laughs> Let's go in. Okay, good. So this is a completely empty, completely empty uh, null sec system. That's nice. Let's see here. Where is this null sec system positioned? I'm a little bit curious here. Is it like close to Jita? Or is it in completely in the middle of nowhere? Is it a little bit in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> lots of null sec systems until we approach Isaac. Let's scan here, see if we find anything interesting. Should probably bookmark this as well. Scan these here. So one of these must be this wormhole. You can see what other kind of stuff we've got here. It's good that we've got a null sec system because then this means that we can hack stuff here. But I hope that it's not a drone system. The reason is because in C5s you can't find uh, pirate relic and data sites. This, these are the ones that I can hack. The ones you find in C5s are these combat ones. In the also, however, you can find these quote unquote pirate relic and data sites. But if it's a drone region, which I think this might be, uh, then you can't find any relic sites. You can only find data sites. And the unfortunate thing is that the uh, relic sites are usually a lot more valuable than the data sites. Something like that. Okay, what is this other one here? 
Never mind, this must be the home hole here. Here's the wormhole we're at here. Let's go to the next system, see if we can find any nice... Uh, actually, no, no, it could be interesting to see just what this wormhole has, this one over here. Could maybe be one that's leading directly to high sec, and a lot of people in our corporation would appreciate that then. I might do that, actually. It's quite fun, you know, you go around, scan stuff. Not that it's fun per se, but I feel like I'm being helpful towards other people, having like a proper scanned out tree of wormholes. You have like a really good scanning ship as well, just scan stuff really quickly. That'd be nice. Maybe we should do that. Be quite fun, actually. Yeah, could be an idea. Unfortunate thing is we will not be able to earn a ton of isk because we're doing a lot of C5 stuff. So we're going to then not find the relic and data size. But we could always make our way towards the lower tiers of wormholes, C1 to C3. You can find those pirate data relic sites I was talking about before. Okay, another wormhole here. Unknown parts of space. Ooh, that's good. This is the type of wormhole we want to find. Because uh, it's a C1 to C3 wormhole. Unknown parts of space means there's C1 to C3. And that means we can find the nice, nice, nice data and relic sites. Okay, we'll give that a go. Uh, one thing we have to do is just we need to bookmark this. Let's go through here. See what we can find. Oh, a lot of signatures. Load up everything. I can make a big scan radius. I find that the wormholes that you find that go to these C1, C3 from like null sec and low sec, especially null sec, they usually have more relic and data sites because you can find C1 to C3 uh, wormholes that go from high sec, but all these noobs, they scan them out and take all the loot from there because it's the easiest to acquire. But if it goes, then you, if it's like from null sec, then you have to go all the way there and then to the wormhole, then it's usually less people I find, or I find more loot in my experience. Angel mainframe, different types of ones we got here. Let's go for the data bank there, the most valuable ones. Just keep an eye on the D-scan. Orbit 500. And let's go. I got so much hacking and trading when uh, we had that event not so long ago. Well, it, it was actually a bit of time ago, but it doesn't feel like it was too far ago, uh, long ago. It, oh, hack fail. I'm used to having a really powerful hacking ship. Sorry, guys. <laughs> We had a uh, abyssal event where you could hack stuff and practice so much hacking there. Because this is not a scanning ship, so or a hacking ship, so it'll be by default not as good as the typical ones you encounter. There we go, system core. Nice. Let's get that. Open it up. Three million, okay, or something. Let's get to the next one, all about 500. Scan, can't find anything here, good. Always get those power-ups, as soon as you find them, take that power-up. And just activate all these repair kits as well, straight away. So you can get as much HP as possible if you have to find some nasty antivirus. Good, we managed to do that as well. Ah, that's unfortunate, not so good stuff there. Data science, they usually are quite a bit worse than the, the uh, relic sites. It's just the way it is. Let's continue scanning in the meantime as well. So then we can do some scanning while we're going in between hacks. Let's hack this. This are low tier ones. There's not going to be so good stuff in here. You never know. Sometimes you get some good blueprints that are worth a few million. Oh, there we go. We've got a system core somewhere here. Open it up. Two million. Wormhole. I'm not interested in another wormhole. Open this up. Six million. Oh, that was pretty good. Or was the six million because of the gas cloud scoop? Double check here. We need to check this. Oh yeah, we've got something. Pretty good, pretty good. It's doing some relaxing hacking. With no disturbances as well. It was such a dead null sec system. So it wouldn't surprise me if this is a very, very dead wormhole system at the same time as well, because there's gonna be very little traffic going through. Okay, get that pair kit going on. 
Gonna rush through this because it's a bit of an easier hack. Open this up. Good. What is that? Astronautics rigging. Not so valuable. And one last one, the Com Tower. Easiest one. Ooh, is our log range so short? 25 kilometers? Really? Is the prospect so bad at locking stuff up? That's unfortunate. Unfortunate. Okay. Let's go to this Angel Com Tower. Scan and hack. Let's go. I think if I'm going to do this again, I probably would want to have a dedicated hacking ship. That's just because, not the hacking side per se, it's more the scanning side. So we can scan stuff quicker so that our buddies can easily find the wormholes they want to find. I feel like I'm being of greater use to them, being able to scan everything down. But it was nothing crazy we got, but it was still something. I mean, we got like 13 million. 14 million. So I'm happy about that. But a scanning ship would be nice to get, or a hacking ship. A good, primarily scanning ship, but it's also good at hacking at the same time as well. That would be good. Should do that, I think. I don't want it to be an expensive one. And a theme, I think, would be good. We'll have to find a good fit later. Sort of la loot here. 17 million, decent. Getting a little bit of a loot stash here in the station. That's a little bit of a wormhole adventure with me. Hope you guys enjoyed. I know it was not too crazy, but it's just, you know, going around in a prospect, all in one prospect. That is able to do everything in gas, rally hunting, and date hunting. But I think that it was quite cool to explore the, the way I'm using these wormhole bookmark formats, and I can enable my corporate mates to be able to see them. So I think that's pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something new. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.